The place where I would like to begin was when I was seven years old and my father died. He had a massive heart attack and he never came home. And so that was when my spiritual journey began. So I'd ask a lot of questions. There's two things there. Either it slides out or the thing I know is me continues. Life after death, that it's the end, that's heaven, you go shake hands with God and you know, lay on a cloud for you know, the rest of existence. No, you know, it doesn't work like that. When we talk about life after death, what we're really talking about is energy. We're talking about the energy that we are that comes into consciousness. It's just a transition of consciousness. That's all that it truly is. But there's no transition really to spirit because we're already spirit. So theoretically, there's, there is no death. Just let go of the body, and what's left is the real you. I know that we are spiritual beings and that we have multi-dimensions that we exist in all of the time. We come into this life needing to have certain experiences, needing to have certain choices that we make. Because I think we're here for our purpose and we have to accomplish that purpose. But the presence of life and death is so powerful, birth and death. Inception is so, it's like the most amazing thing in the world. It really is a decision to come here. This is a schoolhouse. We're here to learn something. Uh, through the experience that I have here, I'm learning something that I will take with me. I know that when I've done everything I meant to do in this lifetime, I'll leave this body behind and it's okay. When I face my own death, I am not going to be fearful, I'm not going to be negative, I am going to be looking forward to the journey. No one stays here, no matter how attached a person is. You just get another opportunity to do better. You know, as I'm saying those words, maybe that is the ultimate secret to the universe. <laughs>